Okay, geometry. We're going to uh, combine two sections, 12-2 and 12-3, and that's going to focus on surface area. Remember, um, when finding surface area, that uh, we're also going to be finding lateral area first, and then putting that into our formula to find surface area. So let's look at a uh, three-dimensional shape. We're going to start with um, just a regular prism. Okay. So in this case, we've got a uh, um, we've got just a regular prism. This is obviously a um, a rectangle or rectangular prism because it is three dimensional. So before we find surface area, we're going to have to find the lateral area, and the lateral area is lateral area equals p times h, where p is the perimeter of the base and H is the height of the prism. Okay, so let's say that um, obviously we know this is going to be a right angle and so Let's say that height is going to be 8. And let's say the length of this one is going to be 12. So to find my lateral area, it's going to be the perimeter of one of the bases. So perimeter is going to be 2 times 12 plus 2 times 8. So that's going to be 24 plus 16 for a total of 40 feet. And then our height is obviously 8. So that's going to be 40 times 8, which is going to be 320 feet squared. Okay. So lateral area is going to be represented by feet squared, or square feet, as I like to read it. And so now we're going to take that, and we're going to find the surface area. Okay, Lateral area is the area of all of the lateral sides. Those are the ones that are not the bases. In this case, in a three-dimensional case, we have two bases, so we take the area of the other ones. Now, to find surface area, surface area is just like if you were wrapping a present how much wrapping paper would you need that's covering the entire surface so this could be L plus 2B okay where L is the lateral area that we just found and B is the area of a base or you could write this, um, if you don't want to find the lateral area first, we could just write it as perimeter of the base times a height plus 2 times area of the base. Again, capital B is area of the base. Well, since we've already found the lateral area, I'm going to use the first one. And I'm going to extend my page here. And so I'm going to have surface area equals, and I know the book uses S. I just use SA um, for surface area just to determine the difference between lateral and surface area. I know that the lateral area is 320. And I'm going to add to that. 2 times um, 2 times the area of the base. In this case, the area of the base is going to be 12 times 8. And that's 96. So we now have surface, oop, surface area equals 320 
plus 192, which comes out to be 512. Oh gosh, I've already forgotten what uh, we were in feet. 512 square feet. When you do your problems, your surface area should always be greater than your lateral area. Okay, surface area is always greater than lateral area. Okay, so let's look at a cylinder. Okay, in a cylinder, first, um, the lateral area is going to be 2 pi r h. So lateral area equals 2 pi r h. Okay, so let's say that this has um, let's say that this has a radius of I'm going to go ahead and erase that, and I'm going to make that five yards, and then I'm going to make my height equal to 15 yards. So let's find the lateral area. That's going to be 2 times pi times 5 times 15. Really, I could put all of those in parentheses because we're just signifying multiplication. Okay, 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. 10 times 15 is going to give me 150. So my lateral area is 150 pi. And so I hit 150 times pi, and that gives me, we're going to go to the nearest tenth. Um, gosh, I have a bad habit of doing that. Approximately 471.2 square yards. Okay, so there's lateral area of a cylinder. Okay. Now, next step is to find the surface area. So the surface area is going to be the lateral area plus 2 pi r squared. So surface area equals the lateral area we just found, which is the, um, let's say that was a, a, a pop can. That's the area you hold in your hand. And so the two parts that were not included in that are the two tri er, triangles, the two circles that are the bases. So we're going to find the area of those. That would be pi r squared for one of them. But since we're doing both of them, we want 2 pi r squared. And so that's going to be 471.2 for our lateral area, plus our radius squared that's going to be 5 squared, which is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So that's going to be 50 pi. So let me put that in the old calculator. Uh, pi button times 50 equals. And then I'm going to add that to 471.2, giving me a grand total of, again, this is an approximation, 628.3 square yards, and that's for surface area. Okay, so that takes care of cylinders. Okay, pyramid, I went ahead and put lateral area and surface area up there at the same time. The lateral area is going to be one half of the perimeter of the base, and this is going to be a regular square pyramid, uh, or with a base that's a square. Um, and so that's going to be one half of 16. And L stands for the slant height. So in this case, that is 6. And so we're going to do 16 times 6 is 96. And one half of 96 is 48. So that's going to be 400, uh, 400, 48 square feet as our lateral area. And this is example, um, 
Oh, where are we at? Example number one on page 839. So now to go surface area, we are going to sub in our lateral area, which is 48. And then the capital B in this case is the area of the base, which just so happens to be 16 as well, because we would take 4 times 4 to find the area of that square base. So that's going to be 48 plus 16, which gives us a surface area of, and in this case it's exact, it's not approximate, so it's equal to 64 square feet. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our last one, which is a cone. Okay, so now we have a cone. Um, ice cream cone, traffic cone, uh, waffle cone, whatever you like that to be. Um, our letters in this one, lateral area is pi r l, again l being the slant height, uh, just like it was in the last example. And then on the other side, uh, surface area is lateral area plus the area of that circle that's on the bottom, which is going to be pi r squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and substitute some values in here. I drew uh, the altitude because I'm going to use an example where they're going to uh, ask you to go a little bit further. They're going to tell you that this is 16 feet, and they're going to tell you that this is 12 feet. So they're not going to give you the slant height. They're going to make you find it by using Pythagorean theorem because that's a right triangle. So that's going to be 12 squared plus 16 squared equals c squared, or you could put l squared if you want to call that the slant height. So that's going to be 144 plus 256. Um, so that's going to be 400, which makes c equal to 20. Or in this case, our l is equal to 20. Okay, so I'm going to make that disappear. Now that gives us lateral area equals pi times the radius, which is 12, times the slant height, which is 20. Um, so that's going to be 240. times pi, again this will be an approximation, so the lateral area is approximately 754 square feet. Again that's rounded to the nearest tenth because I got 0.98, that's going to round that up. So surface area is lateral area, which is 754, plus the area of the circle that's on the bottom of the cone. That's going to be pi times 12 squared, which is 144 pi. Don't know why I put an equal sign there. Let's take care of that. Should be a plus. And so pi times 144 oop, is approximately 452.389. So I'm going to add that to 754. And that gives me a surface area of approximately 1,206.4 feet squared. 1,206.4 feet squared. And I'll get my lateral area over here. Okay. And that is uh, part of example number four on page 841. Okay. 
couple put together, that puts us at about 15 minutes, but that takes care of chapter 12, section 2 and 3.